Hey guys, my name is Elijah. Welcome back. I will be doing another Inkscape tutorial, this time on color. You guys have no clue how hard this is going to be. I have literally spent four days trying to figure out how to do this. Um, I really am still kind of iffy about the way I'm going to do it, but, um, you know, I'm just going to go with it and hope, hopefully it'll work out. Hopefully. Well, without further ado, let's just get into it. So here I have it prepped. I have my background already done. I have my decanter, my glass, two glasses for intensive purposes. If you watch my previous videos, you know why. And then I have here the bowl. All right, well, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be coloring these liquids. In order to do that, you need to know how to work with color, which is what I'm going to try to be doing now. Um, so work with me here. I'm going to be doing the best teaching job I possibly can. Well, first off, you see you have your color palette down here. You have a ton of different gradients of colors, types of colors, etc. And actually, there is a lot more. You see all these right here? Yeah, these all are different color palettes. So let's just go with Android. So now we have the Android color palette. Now let's go with Ubuntu. We have the Ubuntu color palette. And so on and so forth. Khaki just keeps going through all the different ones. We will mainly be working with Inkscape default. Now there's actually a little bit nicer way to do this um, that the teacher brings out in the lessons. If you've heard the lessons, you know what it is, though I'll explain it briefly. However, I do prefer using the bottom one um, as opposed to this next method I'm going to show you. Though, teach your zone. So what you want to do is press Control shift w and right here, it pulls up swatches. If you're on Mac, um, I don't know if that works. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. So go to View, and then right there, Swatches. Right there. Uh, that'll definitely be on Mac. In any case, there you go. Okay. There is all of your swatches. If it does not look like that, then I believe it's right here. Yeah. It will probably come up as Grid, and, well, it's just confusing. So do it as list. There you go. Now you have all your details. And also, you can also do your different swatches here, just like you did on the bottom. Just, you know, if you wanted to go with a different swatch, go for it. I'm going to be sticking with Inkscape default. All right, with that being said, I believe I've given a far enough tutorial on color. I'm going to close this because, well, I don't want it there. So now I'm going to bring up my layers. You want to have your liquid layers open. If you did it in a different layer, just open up whatever layer has the liquid for each individual one. So I have here liquid top, liquid base, that's what I did mine in. Then you want to go to it and uh, choose a color from the bottom here. You know, choose whatever color you want. I'm going to go with blues. I like blues. Stick with a sort of dark color for this bottom here. Just take it, drag it and it should fill it. Oh wait, no it won't, I remember. All right, so take it, put it on the line. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so I just figured it out. Have your fill and stroke also open. Um, so have fill and stroke open, then go to fill, and after selecting, see so here, after selecting it, so have flat color, just press that. It'll appear as whatever color you last used, though we are gonna change it, so don't worry about it. All right, I have to have it selected. All right, then after you have your bottom one done, click your top one. See right there? Mm-hmm. Take that and then do a slightly lighter version of what you did. Uh, so here, I'm gonna go with this one here. But just do whatever one you like best. And uh, you know, it can be greens, it could be pinks, it could be purples. And uh, yeah, you're good there. It's if you do, you see these black lines? Real liquid doesn't have that. So you're gonna take it, select them both. Then go to Stroke Paint, and you don't want any. There you go. Now it looks nice. As, at least it does to me. Might not to you, but it looks nice to me. All right, so then you'll go to your next one for your glass. And you will want to take the same color. Now, if you kind of forget where, what, you know, like the color you actually did, what you will do is you see this dropper here. All right, it looks like a dropper. But it says Pick Colors from Image, or F7. Click it, and pick that color. Voila, it's right there. Do it again, except you'll want to select the top piece right there. 
drop her, select it, voila, there you go. Take them both, get rid of stroke paint. See, that looks the same. As you can see, there is some adjusting that probably needs to be done here. See around the edges here. I'm not going to waste my time doing that for this video, but please do it on your own as well. It looks a little tacky. There we go. Now all the glasses are the same, and whoa, that's off. In any case, so that is it for the liquid color. If uh, you need any more help, ask Mrs. Blackwell. She will probably, yeah, she will. She will be more than happy to assist you. And that will be it for now. My next video will be doing uh, fruit, I believe it's grapes, in this bowl here. So stay tuned, and uh, good luck.